review. And you're probably wondering already, what the hell is DJ doing with a six pack in front of him? He only buys singles and bombers, of, unless it's a really special beer. Well, no joke, guys. This is a re review of one of my favorite beers. It must be springtime. Why? Or coming near springtime or spring seasonal to be out? Because we've got Trogue Nugget Nectar in front of us. That's right, at a Trogue Brewing Company, Hershey PA. Man, this is one of my favorite beers. You guys know it. You've seen me review it before. And this year, I had to review it again. Why? Because it's the first year that they've had really full production out of their new brewery. Last year, they were kind of getting their train wheels back on getting that new brewery going, but this year they're really putting the Nugget Nectar out. And man, this is just a classic. I've got this one chilled here. And this beer, they're calling it an Amber Ale or an Amber IPA. Really, it's a double IPA. It's 7.5%, so it you know, classifies for that. And it's 93-ish IBU, so it could be 94 or just over 93. We're not sure, but this beer is built off of their flagship beer, which is their Hopback Amber Ale or Hotback Ale, which is a, you know, an IPA, really yummy beer, super tasty. In this one, they used Nugget, Warrior, and Tomahawk Hops, which is the same recipe, same malt bill and everything as the Hotback, but they amp it up. This is Hotback's Big Brother, or Hotback Square. So, without further ado, let's get this bad boy in the bottle and see what we got going on. Now, this beer, one important thing to note before I pop the cap here, this beer was brewed and in my hands, 10 days ago. So you don't get any fresher than a 10 day old beer unless you're at the brewery and they're pulling a keg off the line. So let's get the top popped on this. We've got our lovely Trogues crown. Man, I can smell the hops from here, guys. Lovely smoke coming off the top of this. Of course, we got the Nugget Nectar glassware to go with this. You know it. Usually I would use a, I don't know, a tulip or my Pogo glass on this, but because it's Nugget Nectar and I've got the glass, we're going for it today, guys. We're doing a little mashed packaging here. So, you can say our beer is super fresh. We got a Mongo head on this one. It's khaki off-white bubbles, tons of like active carbonation at the bottom. We're at a solid three and a half fingers head because I poured it like a, like a Neanderthal, but maybe the guy in the Geico commercial might not like me now. Anyways, really lovely looking beer. It's filtered. It's a clear amber color. They're calling it amber ale. It's, it's as amber as you're going to get. If you take a look at it here in the camera, I'll put it a little closer. Lovely amber color. Nice khaki off-white head. It's super tight bubbles. When you swirl it, you do get a bit of alcohol legs around the rim, and it's a little rocky up the top. Let's get a nose on this bad boy and see what we got going on. I'm really excited to drink this this fresh. Wow. Big pineapple. Grapefruit. Orange. Tropical fruit, sweet malt in there. Man, some pine. And even a little bit of floral aromas. Man, super fresh. This is a different beer than I reviewed last year. And, and I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, I gave this an A, definitely. So, let's get a taste on this bad boy and see what we got going on. Wow. Man, that's awesome. Sorry. <laughs> I'm smacking my lips and everything there, but... Big citrus, grapefruit, pine. You got a nice dry finish. It's a full medium body. It's not medium thin. It's definitely full medium. This is the right temperature. I got this one at about like, I like to drink it about like uh, 45 degrees, somewhere around there. Some people like it a little colder, but I think I get a little more flavor out of it. But look at this. We're already getting nice glass lacing on this beer. Really solid tasting, man. The, it's a real great marriage in this beer of balance. Okay, you got big grapefruit, you got like different citrus flavors, you got pine, you got grassiness, a little bit of herbalness, and even floral in there in the hops of that combo that they have. And the malt bill backs it up, brings all that into balance. This is, to me, the prototypical or what people would consider to be an East Coast IPA. For others, if you want to be like an East Coast IPA or DIPA, which this is, I would copy this beer. I mean, this beer is just bumping. It's, I can tell they have the brewery dialed in now because from beer memory, this is more like when they're uh, uh, breweries in Harrisburg. It tastes more like that and more to that. Last year was a little more orangey and sweet. This year they've got the bitterness back up higher in the taste where it was. It probably hit the IBUs last year, but the, this tastes more like I recall from the first time I drank this. 
And man, there's few beers in our lives that leave a brain tattoo. For me, this is one of them. And this is one of the beers that really said, damn, I, I do like hoppy beer. You know, like Sam I am, like with green eggs and ham. Well, this was my green eggs and ham, guys. So you can tell I'm geeking out. What the hell do the other guys think about this? Ray Beer gives it 100, and Beer Advocate gives it a 98. I'm going to go straight up with, with the A plus on this. I love this beer. Maybe other guys might rate it a little bit lower because they're going off whatever scale that they have. But to me, this is an A plus beer. It's consistent and it's consistently good. And in this super fresh state, it's freaking bumping, guys. If you can find this super fresh or even, you know, with a month or so on it, it's a delicious beer. Shout out to my buddies at Clements Homebrew if you sat through all this review. You know we got some of this coming to you guys. And, man, I can't wait to watch the review. I'm super happy I got it really fresh. And we're going to get this sent out to you really soon. So... Until the next time, guys, remember what I'm, I say. Think globally. Drink locally. This is close enough, guys, for me. Local. This is an hour and a half from my house. Anyways, support the craft beer movement. Help guys like Trobes keep growing and putting awesome brews out like this that we geek out and want to review every year. Until the next time, guys, thanks a million. If there's something you want me to review, let me know. I'll do my best to get to the job done for you. And that's a big, oh, damn, that's a big peace out.